Hello everyone. Today I'd like to show you how to make some cute little flowers. Um, there's two ways of doing it. And here is one where it has a loop at the top. So you can make little dangle earrings or use it on a necklace. You can also use this and fill it in with resin. And then, so I get a bunch of them. I already made a bunch. But the one I wanted to show you was this one where there is no loop. The loop is in between right there. So you can put a bead on top. You could also do resin if you'd like. You can attach it to various things. You can make, you know, a ring, or you can attach it to necklaces or to earrings. But this will not have, obviously, the dangle effect that this one will have. So I'll show you how to make both. And to do that, You'll need flush cutters, chain nose pliers, and round nose pliers, 20 gauge wire, and you'll need a six inch piece. You should cut two if you wanna try both. And we're just going to be doing these as just a little quick video, and then you can practice these up. And then the next video will show you what I'm actually using them for well at least one of them so first take your six inch piece of 20 gauge wire you can move these aside and go down about about an inch and then bend it over and then tighten the edge up squeeze it together And open it up for your next step just a little and then you're going to go down about a quarter of an inch and then bend it this way it might be a little bit more than a quarter of an inch it all depends on the size of the flower you'd like you can do smaller or larger and then we'll squish that together And open it up a little bit. Make sure your pliers are where the bend should be so they're all exactly the same size. And then just bend it over. I should mention also you could do like a wire weave um, in each petal if you'd like. Okay, so now the one that I had the circle in the center you're going to make this would be facing down and you'll have five little zigzags five on the top You can always go back in too if you don't like the way they are, if you want them a little tighter. Okay. So 
Sometimes they get a little fidgety. You can just straighten it out. Okay, so now you can pull them apart a little, and then you can straighten things out if they got kind of messed up. Take your round nose pliers, and then you can just press on each one. And that'll just open them up a bit more. Okay, so you should have five points on top and then four points on the bottom. Now you will need your chain nose and we'll start opening them up a little more, but what we're going to do is we're going to round it a bit to create a petal. And then you're going to do that with each one. And you'll start rounding them about, now if they get in your way you can just move it a little bit. It's not going to hurt it. About halfway down you can start rounding it. Got away from me a little bit. Okay, so you get this effect. And then you can start pushing them towards each other to make the flower. And what you're going to do is next, you're going to, from the center, clip about maybe half an inch. We can always change it, you know, if we have to shorten it up a bit. So, anywhere from a half an inch to three quarters of an inch, and then you can always you know, shorten it up if you have to. But we'll start with this and then we'll just hold this. And with your round nose pliers, we're just going to make a little loop. Now, as you can see, I probably could have cut a little less. So, to shorten it, we'll just go in just a little bit and clip off the end and then with the round nose pliers, go back in and then make the little circle. Now it should end towards the center of the flower. So and then you go with the other side and turn it in and see that one's still a little bit too big. So we'll just clip a little bit off it might be a little bit longer, but just go back in, make your circle, and it's still kind of big. You can always adjust these, so it's fine. Make sure the size of the circles are approximately the same they overlap. That should be 
good. And then you can adjust, like if you have to flatten out your petals, just use your pliers just to flatten them just a little bit. Just do it delicately, don't do it really hard. And then hold it in the center and you can move your petals out or rearrange them to the way you want them to look. And if you have to readjust the petals, you can do that also. And there you go. You can also, if you'd like, where the two meet, you can take 28 gauge wire and wrap it around it to secure the two um, center pieces. And that would help you attach it also to rings, necklaces, or earrings. Okay, so then now we'll cut another one. Okay, remember that on that one there was five points on the top and then the two end pieces towards the bottom. Now I'll show you how to do the other flower so you can do like little dangle earrings or use them as charms. It's the same thing. You bend it over, tighten up the end, go about two quarter inch, bend, I'll just do this one a little quicker. So it's basically the same process as the first. There's really no difference. And I'll show you just in a second. Okay, so the way we did it, the first flower, you had five points on top, and then you had these ends. Well, to make the earring or the flower with the little bale on top, turn it over. That's all it is. This is for when these ends are down, those are for the flower with the circle in the center. When you turn it around, this is for the flower with the little bale on top. So, same process. Oops. <laughs> same process, you pull it apart just a little, very carefully. Take your round nose pliers, open them a little more. You can start rounding these out now. Can round the end a little bit.
but have the ends facing up while you're doing this because if they're facing down you're going to end up doing the circle in the center and then you can straighten these out a bit and remember you're working with four only because they're facing upwards Then these two, you just round off and then cross them to the point where it's about the same size. Get a good hold on these and run this down. Take this one, oops, bend up. So the one that crosses over the top, you'll bend to the side. So you'll hold that edge and bend it to the side and then when you do this part the underneath one you'll hold it and then bend it straight up now you'll just hold the one that crosses over you can hold that you can hold both pieces actually and then just bend it over And then you can do it again. So there's a couple twists to it. And then clip it off. And then just tighten it up with your Janos pliers. Straighten it out. Now you don't need this really long piece, so you can clip off just a little bit, um, about, so you have three quarters of an inch. Then take your chain nose pliers and bend it over. Take your round nose pliers and then start doing your loop for the bail. Now, if it's too long, again, I said you can just clip a piece off, like so, and it's a very small piece. I know it looks larger, you know, on the camera, but it's a very small piece. And then, you can just twist again, know if I'm really happy with that so I'm just going to take off just a teeny tiny piece again and I don't know if you can see how small it is Oop, I'm trying to get it in focus here there we go see how tiny it is very very tiny I think it might be even just like a millimeter or less go back in with your round nose pliers and then close it up and then here you have this flower so here are your two flowers and with this one you can use um, 28 gauge wire you can put a bead in the center and you've got plenty of edges to tie it off. Um, there's so many variations that you can do with this. Um, I believe um, this one would be good for, if, like I said, if you want it like dangling, but you could also dangle it, you know, from one of the petals. So, there you go. So practice these up and in the coming weeks we'll be doing more videos using these for resin, for wire weaving, and to attach to various items. Um, you know, it's spring month so you gotta get your flowers in. So I hope you have a nice day and I hope you enjoyed this video and practice making these. If you did like my video, please give me a thumbs up. 
subscribe to my channel and press that bell for further notifications of my upcoming videos. And if you'd like, in the description box below, there are links to my, um, my artwork, my photography, and my jewelry. <laughs> Can't forget the jewelry. So, see you soon. Bye-bye.